but let's let's get into that. You would have to have one. <laughs> hey, come on now. Now listen, I'm not saying Steve Harvey was never homeless, right? Because Steve Harvey is an old he's he's an old head. He could have been homeless in his twenties, right? When he was touring with Mark, uh, when he was touring, when he was touring with Mark Curry, he was in his forties, right? Steve Harvey got a, a a late start. He he, you know, he did he didn't make it big when he was young. He made it big when he was in his forties. He started so he could have been he could have been homeless, but you got to understand, Steve Harvey. I mean, uh. Cat Williams is not just saying this just to say it. He's letting y'all know that this brother is a habitual, habitual liar. Habitually oversteps his bounds. Habitual hater. Habitual cock blocker. Habitual. Man, I I'll be I, I'm sorry, man. I I hear some, you know, I don't I don't watch Steve Harvey's uh, shows and things like that, but I, I I hear his clips out there, and I'm not I'm not one to say, you know, believe believe all sound bites, because sound bites can make you look, make it look like what it's really not. But a lot of but if I'm being honest, a lot of the stuff Steve Harvey says ain't it's simp juice, it's whack, it's bad advice. I would never take, never take, never take Steve Harvey's advice on anything dealing with relationships. Just like I won't take any advice from a Dr. Phil. Why the hell am I listening to a Dr. Phil or a Steve Harvey tell me about women? Have you looked at them lately? Dr. Phil's another Mr. Potato Head. Have you looked at him lately? <laughs> Mr. Potato Head like. And Mr. Bra they're both in the same like. They both got a, a, a big old watermelon head. Okay? And it looked like somebody drew their face on. And they both got a history that's... They don't got nothing I want. <laughs> but the money. Their lifestyle, the way yeah. they look, the way they move, the way that there's nothing in them that I would say, hey man, I, I covet that. I rock with that. The the same look on Cat Williams' face in this video right now. That's how I'm looking at anybody that takes advice. You know who take advice from, from people like Steve Harvey and, and, and Dr. Phil? I hate to say it. You want me to say it, Walt? Can I say it? Hey, tell the truth. Modern women. Oh yeah. Well, the only people that well, take advice from these simping preachers, like T.D. Jakes, modern women. Real. Actually, brothers, to tell you the truth, we hold on, real that. quick though. To, to to tell you the truth, I I, I got to I got to give T.D. Jakes a little bit of props. I I did not like T.D. Jakes for years. For years, because he was doing that nonsense, uh, sipping. But lately, he's been uh, he's been on a nonsense campaign. He's been calling women out for having a stinky attitude, and and uh, when he did that Father's Day special, talking about um, how women don't, how some women don't honor fathers, and blah blah blah, and how a woman can't. I was like, wow, it's like he turned over a new leaf. So. I, I gotta give credit where credit is due. The old T D Jakes, I didn't like that. But my dad, whatever my he's been on me, lately. I, I hear you, but my dad told me you know, a lion don't you know, a tiger don't change his stripes. I yeah, met, that's true. I met I met T D Jakes in nineteen ninety-nine. He came down to Pomona, California, and he and he was at this uh at this church 
and I was uh, going through, you know, at 19 years old, I was going through a midlife crisis at 19. Uh, they, I couldn't get the Holy Ghost. <laughs> couldn't get it. <laughs> la, 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 la. I, I'm, I'm in a room. half a mile. Keep left to stay on I-40. I'm in, I'm in the room, and they're going, la, 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 la. And my tongue wouldn't turn over. I couldn't go. I couldn't do that. 